Uh oh. This can't be good. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? Uh, before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, like, like, like the video. Let's talk about these news items. We got a couple of dope news items for this video, but the first one, a little disappointing, bro. I try not to do like negative videos on other consoles we try to keep it positive as much as we can bro but <laughs> i gotta also deliver the news as it comes tom warren i think he's the um, senior editor of verge magazine or something this is what he's tweeted out i can confirm the xbox series x dashboard will be the same as the xbox one Microsoft is adding some additional stuff in for the console features, but the UI, the user interface and dashboard will be the same. Speed and performance will also be improved. This is where when I said uh, when I first saw the Xbox Series X trailer, it almost felt like the Xbox One at the same time, even though the hardware is dope. I like the design. But it makes it feel like it's the same generation of consoles if I already have an Xbox One X. You may see a big leap if you have the OG Xbox still. Or if you even have an S. But if you have an Xbox One X, the performance is pretty good on this console. And the fact that the user interface is going to be the same as last gen's. Microsoft is trying to do away with console generation they're just trying to carry everyone on i think it's it's a consumer friendly um concept idea because hey um you could play all your games across no matter what xbox you have that's cool and all but if you currently own an xbox what's the incentive to get the Xbox Series X. That's where I think Sony's taking a, a completely different approach. That's why I'm leaning more towards the PlayStation 5 right now. This is a trailer for Horizon Zero Dawn 2. The only place you're going to be able to play this game when it launches is on a PlayStation 5. Yes, Sony is forcing you to buy a PlayStation 5 to play this console, but it makes you feel like, hey, I'm getting some something for what I'm buying, uh, for, for the console that I'm buying. With Xbox, all their exclusives will still be, um, you can, the, when the next Halo comes out, you can still play it on your current Xbox One. So, a little bit um, of a different approach to next gen, and it gives you less incentive for me, for me, I like if I'm going to spend $500, I want to feel like there's something new and fresh about it. Yeah, the games will probably look better and run better, but it's going to be the same exact games. Now, now I'm saying all this with a caveat. Microsoft still has games and still has stuff to reveal. I think they might have something in June, definitely in July. So I'm not just flat out discrediting the Series X yet. I'm waiting to see. I still want to see what Microsoft shows. I'm already sold on the PlayStation 5. Sell me on the Xbox Series X. I like the hardware design, but not too much of an incentive. So the user interface on the Xbox Series X will be the same as um, the Xbox One. Mm. All right. Next news item, bro. Tomorrow. I repeat, tomorrow, 
um, EA will have a reveal trailer for the next Star Wars Squadron game, an aerial combat focused um, Star Wars game. This is Battlefront 2, the space missions, which I probably need to check these out more too. But I love Rogue Squadron on my N64 and GameCube. I am all in. I'm here for this, bro. I'm hyped. And we got more information. That's why I was talking about this. More information has come out. Star Wars Squadrons has leaked on the Xbox front page. Uh, Codename Project Maverick. This is coming from Twitter user account Nibble. These are some of the informations on this game. There will be aerial space combat, of course. That's what's going to be the main focus. <laughs> there will be a single-player campaign. There will be multiplayer, bro. Imagine multiplayer dogfights. This is going to be fire, bro. And it's coming to PC and consoles this fall. This fall, so the game is coming out. This, I'm telling you, man, 2020 has turned into a dope year for gaming, bro. In spite of all, it's a, 2020 has been a horrible year for everything else outside of gaming. But for gaming, 2020 has been pretty amazing, bro. Speaking of pretty amazing, bruh, the reviews for Last of Us Part 2 has dropped and... I've never seen this many perfect scores in a minute, bro. Right now, The Last of Us 2 is standing at a 96 on Metacritic. That in itself is crazy. But check this out. Digital Chumps, 100. Games.cz, 100. The Washington Post, 100. Screen Rant, 100. Game Over, 100. 100. Digital Trends, 100. Gamer.nl 100 Comicbook.com 100 VG Games 100 Gamersky 100 Power Lambda 100 100 100 100 Game Rant 100 Impulse 100 Y'all see my point? VG 24-7 100 IGN Probably the biggest game review site 100 Game Informer Probably the second biggest review site 100 <laughs> Trusted Reviews, 100. BGC, 100. 100. Bro! Bro, who did not give this game a 100, bro? Oh, Hobby Consoles gave it a 99. <laughs> bro, so many 100s. This is going to be a day one by easy. Can't wait. And this is where I think Microsoft really has to step up next gen, bro. They're going to have to show me something with their games um, presentation. The first one was a fail with the third party. Why me on the first part? More than Here's Gears and Here's. <laughs> Halo, Gears, and Forza. They have to bring it. Um, this year. They invested a lot in their studio, so they had to. Bro, and now something with Banjo, bro. That is like a layup, bro. It's so easy. Badger has all the hype from Super Smash Brothers. Announce a new Badger game, Xbox. So easy, so easy to do. And it's going to go right over their heads. Bro, I played through my Xbox backlog. I'm currently playing through my PlayStation backlog. Night and day in quality. I couldn't even finish. Um, What's that game? ReCore. I couldn't even finish it, bro. The game was so bad, bro. The 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 choices in the game. And then I went to like Spider Man, Horizon Zero Dawn, night and day, bro. And so, um, Microsoft got their work cut out for them, man. I think they could do it. Don't get me wrong, I think they could do it, but they got their work cut out for them. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, bro. click like that Darth subscribe Darth button. Darth <laughs> Stay, Stay up, up to today. date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Yeah, my, ki my kids, the whole family's big Star Wars fans. We Star Wars fans over here, boy. All right, peace.
You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.